Hey guys, welcome. I'm Gio, and today I will be showing you guys what is in my makeup bag. So, this is my makeup bag. It's actually pretty fucking huge, but it holds all the essentials, okay? I have nothing in here that is wasted. Oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe there are a couple of things I have said. Anyway, um, there's nothing really sentimental about this bag. I just got it when I was in uh, the airport, the Taiwan airport, and I was going from, I think I was going from Taiwan to Malaysia or something, and I saw this this perfume by Givenchy, and I'm like, dude, I want to get it. And then the Asian lady upsold me. She made me spend like 20 bucks extra, but because I get the free bag, so I was like, down. All right. The first most important thing that I always have to carry with me is a portable mirror. And this one specifically because it stands up. And the reason why I like that it stands up is because I'm constantly on the go. I never have time to do my makeup at home or like the way they do it in the movies where the girl's sitting down and she has like her own little her own little makeup station at her like in her bedroom and she's like just like laughing and smiling because she's gonna go up. No, it never happens like that for me. It's always on the go. I'm always like, Bart, hold the mirror and I'm trying to do my eyeliner. So this is super important that I carry this with me. So I'm a big advocate of drugstore makeup uh, just because I feel like with drugstore makeup, you can't go wrong. And if you do go wrong, you only spend like five bucks and you can just throw it away. But when it comes to more like expensive makeup, like I don't know, what's what's an expensive brand? MAC or something? Um, just like an eyeshadow or like a mascara is like $40. And if you find something that you hate, then you're kind of screwed because you're stuck with the $40 mascara that you fucking hate. So, for that reason, I stick to like Target or Rite Aid makeup and it's my absolute favorite. So, starting with my mascara, I really don't even know where this is from. This is a L'Oreal mascara that I love. I've used like several mascaras. I've used Benefit, I've used MAC, I've used, you name it, I've probably used it. But this by far is my favorite one and it's basically just black makeup. It's not waterproof, it's none of that. But what it is, it makes my eyelashes super long. And I love the bristles just because it's plastic opposed to the brush bristles. I highly recommend it if you have like the in-betweener type of um, eyelashes the way I do. They're not super full, but they're not short either. So they're like right in the middle and they're kind of, they're, they're not as full as they can be. So I love this. I don't really use eyeshadows. Only when I want to get fancy, I use CoverGirl in Mink. And I've actually had this for several years. If you can't tell, it's all like fuzzy now. This was once clear, but um, I occasionally use it. It's still pretty new. You can see like a slight, indentation in there that I've had I have used it um but this is just when I want to go wild and crazy I'll just put a little bit on and I'm like yeah I look like the hooker well at least that's how I feel a ton of eyeliners and this is also when I want to get fancy so on my day-to-day -day, I like to use Rimmel because it slides on it's waterproof and it's super easy to apply and it's just I don't know you don't have to sharpen it you just twist it and the top just comes up I don't know, brown is just the my daily color. I use this all the time. Um, I always feel like it gives the, the bigger eye effect every time I do it. Because I have like almond shaped eyes, and again, because I don't have the full eyelashes, my eyes, I just feel like they don't pop. They're not powerful. They don't scream, I want to rape you. So as soon as I put eyeliner on, it's rape eyes all day. See? I just picked this eyeliner up, actually. It's a it's a it's an off-white creamish eye color because I like to put white on the inside of my waterline just so that it can give the illusion that my eyes are bigger than what they really are. But when it's white, it's a little too harsh and it looks like my eyes are fake. So I I, I thought, well, if it's off-white, it'll kind of give it a more natural look, but it'll still make my eyes appear to be bigger than what they really are. It's tricks of the trade. So if you want bigger looking eyes, you can do eyeliner on the top and then white eyeliner on uh, your waterline. Your eyes will pop. Then when I want to get fancy or if it's like a nighttime event, I'll go to black because black is just a more prominent like a uh, prominent color. So then it stands out a lot more and it just, I don't know, I just feel like it suits a nighttime event. But then when I want to feel hooker again, then I just kind of go with blue. And that's usually the, the only three colors I use to alternate and they're all Rimmel, they're all easy to apply. And what I love about this opposed to liquid eyeliner is that with liquid eyeliner, you're kind of committed to that line, right? Because as soon as you mess up, you're like, shit. So you probably need to like, I don't know, dab, uh, what is it, a Q-tip, and then make the eye, make the, what is it, the line better. But with this, it's very forgiving. As soon as you mess up, you can kind of just smudge it a little bit, and your eyeliner is still really straight. So 
Tricks of the trade, people. I have been experimenting again. This is the whole drugstore philosophy. So I did recently purchase this Revlon Bold Liqueur, I don't know, by Crow Lush's Eyelash Mascara. And uh, I freaking hated it. I just used it for this shoot. And um, since it's like a brush, it really made my eyebrows, I mean, my eyelashes really clumpy. And it was, I don't know, it just looked really weird. It didn't make them long. So it didn't work for me. So I'm super weird since I'm on the topic of mascara. I actually need a separate mirror. This is actually given to me by one of my roommates or one of my friends back in the day. And um, just a mirror, nothing really crazy. But I have to use this every time I'm putting on mascara because I've noticed, at least for myself, um, every time I do mascara and I'm staring at a mirror straight on, as soon as I'm applying it, it doesn't make it really long. Like it doesn't, it, it doesn't extend my eyelashes. So what I have to do is hold the mirror this way where I'm looking down and then I start from the root or like the base of my eyelash and then I just put it on and it creates like a longer eyelash effect. I don't know if it works like this for any of you guys out there but this I feel like it works the best for me and it gives me the longest lashes ever. If you haven't noticed the pattern, I love Rimmel but um, it's called Stay Matte and it's liquid mousse foundation. I actually use this all over my entire face mainly for my under eye, the dark circles that I have because of the lack of sleep. Um, it comes on very matte and it's not oily and it's not cakey so it doesn't feel or look like it's super heavy makeup on me. It still looks very natural. My, my skin breathes uh, very well and I don't ever feel like I have a bunch of shit on my face. So I'll apply this all over my face. Good to go. And I'd like to end it with bronzer again by Rimmel. And I like the bronzer to have some sort of pigment so it has like a lot of glitter in it. Because I feel like when it's flat, my face just doesn't, I don't know, I feel like my face just looks dull and sad and boring. But as soon as I put some like glitter pigmentation in there, um, I feel like it looks like it's constantly bright and it's happy. And for that, I use just a brush just to applicate it or just to apply it on my face. It's called Real Techniques. I don't know where I got this. I probably got it at a drugstore also, but I love how full it is. Um, I've tried a lot of brushes and oddly enough, brushes make a huge difference on how your pot powder is displayed um, across your face. So this has been my favorite one so far. Now just super random things that I have that I don't always use, but I carry it just in case. And I feel like all of us girls do this. Like we kind of prep for things before they happen so that when they do happen, we're ready for it, but then it never really happens. Only girls will understand what I'm talking about. So. I have two different color lipsticks, and these are actually pretty cool. They're by NYX or NYX. I'm not too sure if it's NYX or NYX. Um, and it's the butter lipsticks, and they literally feel like butter on your lips. I just have one in red. Again, when I have like an evening event or I have to look, you know, super done up. Red, you can never go wrong. Red always screams formal. So I have my red, and I have my pink when I want to be like a little bit flirtatious and cute and stuff. And usually I just use this when we film Ask the Feels because I feel like for Ask the Feels you have to look cute. I don't know. These are perfect colors for that. And I always have lip glosses and I like to have some sort of tint to my lip gloss just because I feel like my face looks really dull without any sort of color in it. So I always get lip glosses that have tint. And nobody wants dry cracked lips. So I always carry lip glosses. These are my favorite. If you don't know about these eye drops, you need to get acquainted with them really quickly. So these are some eye drops that, were, that are from Japan and they're methylated. It's really crazy because not only does it lubricate your eye, but it also gives you like this minty feeling. So imagine putting a mint in your mouth and then you know when you inhale air and it feels super fresh, that's exactly what it does for your eyes. It does burn a little bit and you do have to get used to it, but it is the shit, especially when you're falling asleep whether you're driving or in class or something, you pop these bad boys in, maybe just two drops in each eye, and you're fucking good to go. NYX Eyebrow Cake Powder, which I really don't use for my eyebrows because I have really thick, dark, full eyebrows. Um, honestly, I really don't even know why I bought this. Uh, I don't know, I just felt like all girls need to fill in their eyebrows, so maybe I should too, but I never really found myself using it, but sometimes, when I do fuck up, when I pluck my eyebrows out, um, there'll be like a, a hole. You, you guys know what I'm talking about. When you pull out that one hair and it just fucks up your entire eyebrow shape, then I'll run to this guy and I'm like, dude, save me. And then I'll just kind of fill in that hole.
Nothing really magical about that. Nothing, it, it doesn't work really great, but it doesn't suck, so it works. And uh, I just use my brush to applicate eyeshadow, which is just this guy. That's the only time I ever use him. And I have bobby pins here for the occasional stragglers, because I have a lot of baby hairs. So sometimes when I'm putting my hair up and I can't, I don't know, I can't put everything in place, so I just use a bobby pin. Now my blush. My blush has been through war and back. I got this blush from NYX again, or NYX, somebody correct me, I don't know how to pronounce this, and it's in Rose Garden, but I lost the cover, and it's scratched up because it's constantly getting um, tossed around in my makeup bag, so my makeup always has some peak on it, but I just don't feel like I need to buy another one because it looks brand new, so I just keep it in there in hopes that it doesn't crack, even though we all know what's going to happen pretty soon. It's going to crack and it's going to be pink all over my makeup bag. But until it does, I'm holding on to this guy because it's the shit. I highly recommend it. It's not super bright, but it's not super pale. The pigment on it is perfect, so there's no need to change it. Last but not least, I have two sets of tweezers. I don't know why I have two sets. I feel like someone always needs tweezers and I just have them. I, don't, I can't really remember the last time I used these guys. But again, I like to prepare for the worst and I feel like if anyone ever had a splinter or there was some sort of disaster or if, I don't know, I needed to open something, I got two sets of tweezers and I got you. That's pretty much all my makeup. I'm pretty simple. I don't really carry too much makeup. I really don't wear too much makeup. This is kind of my daily essentials. Um, I really don't stray too much from this, even when I do get dolled up or fancy for anything. I think the most I'll do besides this eyeshadow is um, probably wear like a darker brown. I'm not too crazy when it comes to makeup. I think it's because I really don't know how to apply makeup that well. So I just keep it simple and I just keep it to where it accentuates the parts of my face that I want to accentuate. Um, but one thing that I have learned in my years of wearing makeup is that just because it works on someone else, doesn't necessarily work on you. So anytime I see products that girls are using, I'm like, oh, that's great, it works, cool. But I've noticed time and time again when I buy the exact same makeup that they have, it just doesn't work on me, especially with mascara. So I highly recommend for you guys out there, yes, take note of what people are using, but just experiment, try it out for yourself. And I feel like drugstore makeup is the best way to go when you're experimenting. And then you can kind of figure out how your face works, your pH balance, your complexion, all that stuff. And then once you've found the products that you love, then you can kind of find find the comparisons for the higher end makeup. I hope you guys liked this episode of What's in My Makeup Bag. If you liked the video, make sure to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this with all of your friends. Uh, if you guys would like to watch the last video that we shot, go ahead and check it out here. Uh, uh putting on sun lotion, lotion. Uh, Damn. Damn. Damn, you guys are uh, fucked up. Uh, you know how